Go for it. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Joe Code Podcast. Great to be with you all today. After three solo episodes in a row, we finally have a guest today. <laughs> um, I'd appreciate if you didn't make a sound yet. You haven't been introduced yet. Uh, so you guys are hearing some laughter in the background. Um, <laughs> don't laugh. I can't help it. Um, so we're going to introduce our guest today. Um, it's a woman, which is nice because over here it's been a real sausage fest. All right. It's been me and Aaron. It's been dudes coming in. Uh, so it's nice to have. Uh, someone who's very funny, very charismatic, very, um, charming, uh, an old friend. We've known each other for a long time now in comedy. Welcome to the podcast. Leah Lamar is here. Welcome, Leah, to the show. Guys, thanks for having me. I love being introduced as not a dude. Uh, the absence of penis yeah we have very i mean we do i do try to uh get a lot of women here but it's hard Um, and how's your dating life going as well why do you ask that you said you've been trying to get a lot of women over here (laughs) well i mean for entertainment i know Uh, um (laughs) but since you ask uh not i'm not really involved in that yeah. But um Okay. So Leah's here. You have two R's in your last name, as do I. Double R. Uh, you your energy is very we're in an interrogation room. Yeah. And that's how it is. And you're not gonna be a fucking weasel. That's your energy. Your energy is you got a secret and you're not gonna let it out. Yeah, maybe I do. Um so Leah, <laughs> this is a professional podcast here. This is a professional studio. Ever heard of it? No, actually. <laughs> All right. Yeah, welcome. You were trying to, like, dictate the time we started. <laughs> okay, that's not how it works here in show business. Do you I want give women you the, on your podcast or not? I we'll come. We'll time. be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> you show up. Okay, that's and I'm, it. And I'm here, babe. I'm here for you. Do you know what's so funny? I was on the phone with my husband on the way here, and I was like, oh, I'm doing my friend Joe's podcast. And he goes, Joe Rogan? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, that's good that he thought that. That's and I was just, like, yes, I'm in Austin. I'm doing the Joe Rogan podcast. That's exactly what's happening right now. Now, he, I'm surprised you were able to talk to him because your husband lives in, where, London? Mm-hmm. What the hell? It's like, how do you guys even talk <laughs> if you're not together? It's like, oh, <laughs> it's someone's asleep, someone's awake. I mean, how? I mean, I don't understand how this is work. I mean, you're lucky I got you in here early because he was probably ready to go to bed over there yes thank you joe i'm, I'm so lucky you got me in here he early. was ready to go to sleep and start dreaming about the queen let me just first whatever. of all that's me yeah the queen thank uh, you Leah, that's what i meant thank you because the queen is dead but um i will say this ever since the accident i've needed eight hours of sleep uninterrupted no matter what so when you were like, do you want to do the pod at 1030? I knew I had an event last night that was going to go late. And I was like, oh, OK, that's why I had to push. To yeah, 10:30. I don't want to be up early anyway. <laughs> this is when people are available. You think I want to be here right now talking to you? What are you even doing here? Who booked you? <laughs> what? That was me. I booked you. I'm the booker. Are you done? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Just getting a little. There's other things on my mind. What's Sorry. going on, Joe? No, nothing. Joe, what's going on? Just some. What's going on at home? It, it, it <laughs> not uh, nothing is going on at home. I, that's... I feel like you have hysteria, which is what women had in <laughs> the like 1400s, Wait, wh- because women weren't coming, so they were going crazy. <laughs> and I feel like that's you have that pent up. I Maybe. need to come energy. Yeah, there's some truth to that. But what about <laughs> what accident were you speaking of? Oh, oh, it's it's almost like I said it because I wanted you to ask me. No, yeah, I think um, I remember. This I was I was of? in like back to back car accidents. Yeah, that's right. And you, I had these crazy concussions. Something? Oh, concussions. Yeah. Shit. So I I feel like God was like, if I make this Jew with too many brain cells, <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna cure cancer. And if 
there's anything that I know about God for sure colluding with Big Pharma. So yeah. we couldn't have that. Yeah, we can't have yeah. that. So uh, lost a couple brain cells and also the ability to function on two hours of sleep. I need eight hours minimum. Yeah, I need sleep too. Uninterrupted. No, but I used to be a beast. Like I used to be able to have two hours sleep, wake up, run a marathon. Like no. it just, a, well, when I say marathon, I mean like go to work uh, <laughs> have a job <laughs> i mean yeah but you can't function on l low sleep i can't i used to be no able human to. can yeah uh, what it's called yeah youth. but there's no mental clarity you're yeah all, uh, you're a yeah fall. now i'm now i'm a disaster so but, um yeah what so what's going on with you on instagram you've uh you've had strikes on your account. Oh wow, I Is didn't right? I didn't know you were noticing. Yeah, I've had a, a bunch of strikes on my account. Why? What do you, what kind of uh provocative things are you saying? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Because let me tell you, I am a hate speech goddess. <laughs> <laughs> uh give us some uh words. Okay. I posted a reel of me and my grandmother in law where she's teaching me how to use utensils correctly. Yeah. She's a, a British elegant queen. I love her. She's so cute. She's teaching me how to eat. In the video, I say I'm trash because okay. I'm eating like an animal. There's nothing wrong with the video. The video itself doesn't get flagged. Sure. However, I leave a comment on my own video saying, ha, 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 I am highest trash. And that got flagged as hate speech. Highest trash? Why? Because you can only be trash, but you can't be the upper echelon of I, it trash? Was, it was just considered hate speech. And then I tried to have it reviewed, and they upheld the strike. And I even had someone at Meta go through and try to talk to them and saying, no, they're upholding the strike. You need to be more careful with what you write in the comments of videos. But does someone have to <laughs> uh, flag that? Yeah, it got, it got flagged. By who? Some hater. There's haters. I think it was an. I think it, here's the thing. I think it's like these AI bots that catch everything, and then they the review process is kind of much. I think it's just bullshit. It just goes into like a vacuous hole, much like my pussy, and then we just and nothing ever <laughs> comes out. You know what I mean? We can't. It, it's yeah. like it just. That's it. Once you go in, you're there forever. So, I mean, so that's unreal. Yeah, no, it I, is not real because my pussy is very comment, tight. What? I've had a comment of mine on someone else's thing uh, labeled as hate speech, too. And it, well, was you just, got a it was just mouth. negative. Well, what did, you, what did you say? Hitler I should have finished the Jews? No, I don't oh. remember even what it was. It was just like, no, like some uh, emphatic no to something someone said. and An emphatic no. That's yeah. so interesting. So, yeah. so I, I had just come off of having a strike for something else equally as very offensive. Wow. And I have reported so many comments of people writing like hateful anti-Semitic remarks on my post that aren't even about being Jewish, uh, and they never get removed. Those stay. Yeah, the one that was the one someone posted like I think Hitler should have finished the job and turned you all into soap, and like that was fine. Someone really said that. Yeah. Wow. I actually posted it on my Instagram, and that didn't get taken down, which was interesting. I posted it being like, "This is what people say to me." Um, then yeah just like random stuff like horrible things have been said to me and never gets taken down but that remark on my own video i'm like so we can't do self-deprecating humor on this app so i'm fu <laughs> sounds like there's people uh, colluding against you i know i'm telling you god knew i might be too powerful if i had a, too many brain cells and a functioning instagram um so yeah. now anytime i post a reel literally every time it gets demonetized immediately and then it won't be shown to non-followers wow so I have angered the algorithm, um, and now I'm going to try to figure out what to do. Yeah, uh, if anything, crazy. like Matt Reif is a very hopeful story to me because he was in the shadows for a while, and now look at him, thriving, right. king, king status. So I, I look at that, and I think if he can get out, I can get out. I don't know how yet, but I will figure it out. Yeah, you'll get out. You're trapped right now. Like I mean, a... I keep trying to talk to Mark Zuckerberg with telepathy. He hasn't yet answered. But I feel like at some point he's just got to pick up the phone. Yeah, you know? I think he will. I think so. Um, <laughs> what do you What do you think about thirst traps? I'm a more of a hunger trap. Really, no guy segue there, huh? Because um, <laughs> you know Joe eats. Yeah. But what is thirst trap? I don't I don't ref get what that's referring to. Who's being trapped? And the people can who... they get out of this trap? Is it a booby trap? 
Well, well it's actually, a, it is. It, yeah. it is a literal nice. booby trap. Uh, that was good. Yeah, high five. Yeah, good one. I just thought of that. Good work. Um, I'm really proud of you, Joe. But yeah, why? Do you know why they say that? That it's a thirst trap. Yeah. Because it's a trap for horny men to comment. Or my favorite is when they know that their girlfriend or wife is watching. Yeah. Very closely. And so they will send you in a DM your own post and comment to you personally yeah. versus publicly. Yeah. My wife would be so angry if she saw this, but damn, you look fine. What I would do to that body. Yeah. Like, what, yeah, oh what, my yeah, God. What, yeah, yeah what, what would you do? Describe it, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Who loves his wife and kids yeah. in his profile. Yeah. <laughs> what, what would you do? Let's hear about yeah, it. Yeah. Let's uh, send some screenshots over to wifey, shall we? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it catches you know the the honey be catching flies. Yeah, so I used to post a lot of thirst traps, and then I was like, oh, I think I actually just want to be a comedian, and then I'm kind of circling back. Go ahead. <laughs> There's no 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 actually format here. I mean, I have my notes, but talk about whatever. No, you no, want. I'm circling back to posting thirst traps. Uh, okay. No, I I posted one show flyer recently. It's like a photo from three years ago that I would never post on my Instagram now, but mostly because no one's seeing my posts. Yeah. It was almost a test to see if it's working. Guess what? No one cares. So, um, or maybe I'm just like a retired hot girl and I'm okay with that. So no, you, you got no love on it. Well, just no one's seeing my posts. Wow. Yeah. So I had one post do well recently, but that was like from a couple weeks ago and it's because it was shared like so many times. They still try to suppress it. Like I have one video that has like um, almost 10,000 shares, but it's like under 100K views. Jeez. That's... So think about how many people they are suppressing the video from being seen to. Yeah, it's so stupid. It's crazy. All well, right. I'm going to break through bitches. Yeah, And you will. when I say bitches, I mean meta. Okay, continue. And you have 150,000 followers, so you're doing good. Yeah. Um, It'll well, be fine. So... Um, what comes to mind when I say uh, I don't eat meat? I didn't know that about you. You know why almost, I didn't know that about you? Almost seven months. Why? Because you are the depiction of the straightest man alive. And th <laughs> the straightest man alive gives off creatine, meat, meat, meat. I'm on keto paleo vibe. So what do you? Th what is that? I was a vegetarian for eight that? years. Yeah, why do people stop? I stopped because I was super, uh, I think, protein deficient at the time. Oh, okay. There's a lot of protein out there. You probably were well, eating it. Well, this was many years ago. I, w I was vegetarian before it was cool, and there were a lot of options. Yeah. So well, I, I don't think it's cool um, now. I, I, be, I get a lot of flack. No, I, I, I was vegetarian when basically the protein options were just eating that block of white tofu. There was no chickpeas back then? Is that what you're trying to tell Stop me? Stop trying to make me eat a vegetable. What about quinoa? God, what am I, a white woman? Yeah. Oh. You're well, I'm, Jew I'm Jewish. I'm off white. white. <laughs> I'm off white. <laughs> um, wait, okay, so why did you decide to become veg? There's many reasons. Thank you for being so verbose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't... Uh, we don't use those kind of words Sorry, here. I, I, sorry I, I was just prepping for my SATs. Um, but no, I, I mean, I, f I feel great. But why did you decide to do it? Cause I, I, I wanted to change and I wanted to try it. Did you just need some material for the stage? It's okay. You can be real with me. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, just different health reasons, <laughs> mentally, physically. And it's, it's been great. You're such a cute person. Thank you. <laughs> um, what is your, uh, what is your go-to Taco Bell order? I feel like I'm not on between two ferns, but that I am. Yeah, this is kind of like that. Yeah. Um, shout out Zach Galifianakis. Sexy um, big dog. So, um, I just answer the question. What? Excuse me. What were you gonna say? Think about how you talk to me, Joe. Well, this what is you my really think show. About it long and hard. All right, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. You asked me how I feel about you being a vegetarian. Oh, yeah. You never answered that. Well, because you kept it moving. Well, I'm saying what ki what comes to mind, because I've had women say that's the most unattractive thing I've ever heard, which is like, hey, read a book. <laughs> you don't know the health benefits. Okay. So. So. 
<clears throat> um, what I think about you being a vegetarian is that I'm proud of you for making a choice that feels good to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was a veggie for eight years, so this and I get I don't throw shade. I think it's great. I think do it feels right for you. Thank you. I quit because it wasn't right for me anymore. Okay. I'm a quitter. All right. So um, I wanted to make it about me. How'd I do? Good. So what is your uh, go to Taco Bell order? I've never had Taco Bell. That's the wrong I know. answer. It, but but you didn't even know that was an answer. Like you didn't even that wasn't even on the menu. And I mean, I thought you could be like, oh, I don't eat fast food, blah, blah, blah. Can you imagine if I was just like, I haven't I actually haven't had Diet Coke in maybe like 15 years. Yeah, I don't drink that garbage. I can't. I don't drink sodas. I'm surprised you go to a place that uses seed oils. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but that's I mean, that's the only fast food I eat. Taco Bell? Yeah. I had Chick-fil-A recently, and I haven't had that in so many years. Honestly, slaps. Sorry, yeah. I know you don't eat chicken. No, I'm sure it's good. It I, used good. To eat, I used to eat a ton of chicken. But I know there's a bunch of bullshit in there, so I try not to. Yeah. I, I don't eat fast food often. Yeah. But I when I do, I'm select about it. in and out Chick-fil-A in a blue moon. Yeah. Um, but I've never had Taco Bell. I've heard of its greatness. It is. Yeah. I mean, I'll have it like once or twice a month. I mean, that's crazy that you wouldn't ever have it. What did What do you have? What's your order? Oh, thanks for asking. Yeah. Uh, I really like uh, just a cheese quesadilla. Um, any of their options, any of their things there, you can get, um, you know, you could sub beans. Do you want to be a dad? So I'll get the... I think so. I'll get the uh, veggie Mexican pizza. I'll get like a cheesy gordita crunch. <laughs> Sub black beans. Sub them in. Uh, they're time. It's your time to get it in the game, black beans. You heard it here first. And, That's so racist. Uh, I like a. Uh, <laughs> and then also I'll do a like chalupa supreme with black beans. I like. Uh, I like that. Oh, and then the spicy potato soft taco I'll, I like to get. You know, on camera, you look a lot like Tom Segura. Yeah, people say, well, people say that in general, but, I mean, let's be honest about who's better looking. Wow. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to go there. I just Well, I'm just saying. Let's, let's. So, who, Tom. Who's in better shape? <laughs> who's more tan? Um, who gets out in the sun? The answer so, is me. thank you for explaining to me your favorite Taco Bell order. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, this is—I mean, this is the podcast of food, beer, and men, so we talk uh, those types of things here. I love two thirds of those things. Yeah, you don't do beer. No, I don't do men. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like that. Mm. Good twist. Thank you. Good joke. Um, <laughs> no, but you don't drink beer. I don't drink. Yeah, a lot of people don't. How's that going? You ever think about giving it up? I gave it up. Giving up, giving up? No, just vegetarianism. Um, I haven't had a drink in like eight, nine years. Really? I don't know. I it's it, and it's not because I had an issue. It's just because I'm. It just didn't suit me anymore. Yeah. Well, that was like me with like like smoking anything, like cigarette, weed, even cigars. Oh my God, weed is just. I just like uh, it's been like probably eight years since I've smoked anything. And I just am like, yeah, I just got to the point where it's like, this isn't what I want to do. I, what's What is this? It's interesting get because- Get this fire out of my mouth. Yeah. This, get this- You know what I mean? That's how I feel about most dicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what about- I, I find that when I'm in LA, I want to vape. When I'm in New York, I want a cigarette. And when I'm in Europe, I have it. <laughs> Really? When, when I was in Paris doing shows, whenever I would go to Vegas, I would want cigarettes. Yeah, that well, it makes that makes sense. C cigars or cigarettes, yeah. crack, whatever. When I was in uh, Paris doing shows, a couple like a month ago. Yeah, I was. I have friends that are Parisian, so they came. We went out after. I just wanted to let you know how cultured I am. Yeah, have friends Parisian, that are Parisian. Yeah. Um, we went out after, and just sorry, everyone... Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Step aside, bitch. Yeah. Uh, there's a new white woman in town, yeah. off white, um, and everyone's just smoking and having a good time. Like they're just people smoking outside. So do you smoke and vape when you were there? No, I I actually have. 
I think I I think I might have tried to vape one time, and I was just like, "Is this a hookah in a bottle?" Yeah, I'll never. I'm do a that. hookah in a bottle, baby. Yeah. Um, I think it's so dumb. I think vaping is so dumb. Oh, yeah, I'm like, are I, you loving your little flavored e-cigarette? Yeah, you little dumb bitch. Yeah, it looks like a little remote control. Or yeah, something. I also think they're dumb because if I tried it legitimately, I'd probably be addicted. So I need to tell myself it's dumb so I don't do it. But um, yeah, I I don't. I don't like a lot of anything. So for me, it's like uh, when I was in Paris, Yeah, I just want to keep saying that, I was going to a themed party. So I had purchased um, like a really long cigarette. Oh, yeah. Like like a, like a costume piece. A like de Ville. Yes, yes. Like like laughably loud, lo- long. And I was like, I don't even know if this is functional, but I'm going to try. Yeah. So I wanted to like kill myself twice. I was like, let me inhale all the microplastics from this Ew. fake. Anyway, yeah. it worked. And I put a, the cigarette at the end of this <laughs> long, and I was just smoking it like such an asshole. And I was like, oh, wow, this is so fun. But after like one, I was done. I was like, ugh, yeah. I don't need to do this again. Yeah. But it was fun, and I enjoyed it. Well, and then uh, maybe like a week ago, I went to the convenience store around the corner. Was that in Paris? Bodega. No, here in L.A. Thank you for saying that, yeah, though. I really for, appreciate it. And forget I, Paris. I got some like American spirits, and I hand-rolled Little myself crystal. a cigarette. I had two puffs and I was like, I'm good. Yeah. I don't, don't I don't it. actually love it. I just like it. And when you're, when you're not drinking and just smoking, it's almost weirder. Yeah. It's, it's weird to just like, like a cigarette, I think. And I know that, that a lot of people will disagree with this opinion, but it's kind of gnarly. No. Yeah. Like around the comedy store, there's still people that are like chain smokers. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Well, yeah, but you know why that is. Everyone's either sober or an alcoholic. Yeah. It's one or the so, other. There's very few people in the middle. All right. Well, speaking of the comedy store, come to Joe's. Er, that's not the name of the show, dumbass. Come to Bros Before Joe's on Wednesday, September 11th, 1030 p.m. in the Valley Room. Uh, tickets are on sale now. Would you consider me a bro? Yeah. I feel like I'm a bro. So we have uh, me, Chad, <laughs> JT, Kevin, Strider. Amy Miller, Chappelle Lacey, Lara Bites, Amir Kabiri. So w- come on out to the freaking comedy store. Tickets on sale now. And uh, now we have to get to one of our segments of the show. How the hell is Amir? I haven't seen him in forever. Yeah, I know. I haven't either. Well, he, he lives in Santa Monica now, so it's like, okay, I mean, well, might see as well be later. San Diego. Yeah, I know. Jesus. So, sorry. What, he get some money or something? He does. I know. Amir's always had money. So nice. uh, we're going to get into This Sucks for this week. And uh, This Sucks for this week is uh, on when you're doing karaoke, The I'm, I'm sick of the lit up squares at the beginning of the song. Okay, those suck. Give me a countdown. Uh, I want numbers. I don't know how to read the little the timing on the, the squares that color in or don't color whatever they're doing. Uh, Because I'll get off to uh, a bad start. Uh, My timing will be off at the beginning. Just give me numbers. All right. I don't know how to read the square coloring on the karaoke. That's what tickles your pickle? You know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, it was good to get that off my chest. Um... Why are you uh, Leah Here. Goldwoman on Facebook? What the hell is that about? Why'd you just dox me? What I do it? that so people don't find me. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> because I have a public Facebook page. That's my professional Facebook. And then randos start trying to get into my personal life. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but who even posts on there anymore? I don't, but it has all of my like old photos and uh, like people. Do you know how weird people on the internet are? Yeah. Do you know how many creeps? I've had so many stalkers. Sorry. It's fine. Being a woman's fun. Go on. I, I will tell you this one time I had an insane. Actually, don't even know if I should tell the story because if he listens. He yeah, might. maybe don't. So I won't. But um, I'll tell you after. But yeah, it's a, a constant thing that we have to think about. Yeah, I know that. A lot of the female comics do have stalkers, and yeah, there's different protocols we have to do at the comedy store. We've had to yeah. deal with that. So. Yeah, it's really frustrating. If you could imagine 
being woman. All right. Uh, I thought there was going to be a funny story. Well, you're a vegetarian, so. Yeah, I thought there was going to be. F- Close like, to it. Like, oh, I really <laughs> love Goldmember, the Austin Powers movie or something like no, that. No, it's because my last name is legally, well, it was Goldman. Oh, okay. And so I thought it was sexist, so I changed it to Gold Woman because I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, see, there. that's all I was asking. I know, but I don't need people knowing my Facebook shit. Okay, sorry. Thanks. Thanks for apologizing. You're using a cup that says Corkical? <sighs> Corksicle. Corksicle. That's Joe? It's from Bristol Farms. I thought you were straight, but now? No, you already said that, so you can't take it back. But now I'm having questions. I'm having my doubts. Oh. I don't really care. Did you ever? It feels like you care. Do you have siblings? Mm hmm. Did you ever answer me this? Okay. When you were kids and you guys would have little scraps, little fights. Yeah. Do you remember pulling their hair? Did you guys do that? That was a good move as a kid. Um, Because you didn't really want to pull, you didn't want to punch each other really, but pull the hair. It's It's very, ah, it's a little like, hey, you better watch it. It's a very anti vegetarian move of you. No. To hurt another living being. Yeah, well, that's when I was a kid and I didn't know shit. Okay. Just answer the question now. Yes, daddy. Yeah, you're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I have never physically attempted to harm another person. Your honor. You never gotten little (laughs) spats? My sister, when I was three years old, tried to run me over with her bicycle, and she succeeded. Um, She ran over my leg, and I was pressed against the floor. But other than that, I didn't fight back, and I was because I was a little bitch. And uh, literally little. I was was literally three. And um, no, I, I haven't ever fought since then. You guys didn't have any disagreements or anything that got physical, man. I wanted. It was to only really... it was only emotional and it was brutal, but no physical spats. Well, I did pull hair. I, you just asked me that question so you could tell your story. Yeah, because I <sighs> thought I thought. Why do you even have guests? I, I just thought keep everyone solo would relate episodes, to that. Joe? My brother had this curly hair. You just grab it. It's easy. Are you jealous because you don't have any? I used to have curly were hair. You born, I'm not jealous. Were you born like this? Yeah. Well, most people are. Without hair. Yeah, I don't want hair. You don't even need it. When did you lose your hair? Uh, I think it started going. Imagine there was a lost and found for hair. I th- oh, that, we, f- oh <laughs> we found it. We <laughs> lost for a few. That's a good bit. Yeah, you're welcome. You can have it. It's for you. No, you can have it. No, you can have it. Um, <laughs> I'd say like in my early, th- well, probably around 33, 34. Because I'm 40 now. Um, so yeah. Do you miss it? Not really. It was annoying. I was kind of out of like hairstyles. I don't like. I don't know what I want. I don't think do. that's true. I don't, I don't think. Wa- I don't know what I want to do with this anymore. And the girls ever like to just like ride your head? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I used to have a bit about that. No, actually, I. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do, but. Um, well, I, it's been a minute. I can tell. No, we've uh, <laughs> we've been recording for. That's not what I'm talking about. Hour. It's been a minute since Sh- a woman has shut come up. around your house. I don't have a house. <laughs> that's exactly correct. <laughs> Maybe that's why there hasn't Do been a you? woman around. No, I don't live anywhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're all over the freaking world. I travel. I'm busy. Like, I you haven't even been in L. A. in a while. It was three months. I just got back. It's been a while. I went to New York. I. Dude. Yeah, what are you doing over there? Well, I'm writing a movie, and my writing partner was there. Oh, so nice. It was I'm writing something, too. Cool. I'm talking about myself right now. So, it's, it's fine. It's my show. My name's on the TV. Well, I'm sorry. This isn't the my, Joe Rogan uh, podcast, so let's uh, have it, let's let's let the guests talk first. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, good shot. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> I feel like I just in- injected testosterone right into my brain. Um, basically, I was doing shows in New York. It is crazy how much better you get s- faster there. But by that, I mean I was just doing so many spots, and I felt like I worked out a joke yeah, from so start to finish. Shows, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Because open mics – I haven't been to an open mic in a really long time. No, I don't go. But I, I don't remember being able to actually work out material there. I feel like a lot of times you get onto the stage during a show and that's when you really find out what's funny. Right. Um, and so 
yeah i mean i was i was just writing a I was so much writing and i was doing a lot of good work in new york and then i went to london uh because my husband's there yeah and then why I, does he come to la and he comes no but why doesn't he move here it's like well he's we're waiting for the green card i know a lot of people oh, like to come okay. across the border but we are doing it the legal way yeah. uh, you know <laughs> oh, little government cucks yeah, um that's me on. i'm a government cuck i'm just sucking the dick of fucking anyone please let him in oh my god it's been way too long and i'm so horny yeah let him in let him in he's like a hot white british guy i'm like what's the problem well, yeah. What he is would add problem? to our economy. What I, are don't... The, I mean, what are the credentials? Well, do you know what's crazy about the green card? So obviously I didn't know anything about the immigration process until we started going through it. But it can take over four years to get a green card. Damn. And even a couple of lawyers that we spoke to suggested he come across the border. They're like, we're, jo- we're only joking if you are. There are like five to 10,000 people come across the border every day. He should just come across the border. It's cheaper and faster. And I was like, what about the legal way? And they're like, I was like, what? I'm like, this is how you make your money. Yeah, that's like. It was crazy. That's the whole thing with society where it's like telling the truth is like a punishment. It's like lying is the way to go. It's insane. And like my husband is the most polite, lovely Englishman that's ever. I mean, he's English. So that. How did you guys meet? Uh, in in Ibiza, I want to say it like that. How'd I do? Is that Ibiza? Ugh. Yeah. Who says Ibiza? Posh twats. Is that like an island in Spain? Yeah. Nice. It's actually Ibiza. Ibiza. I can't say it right, but I, when I've I went never to, been when, there, when I was doing shows in Barcelona, they were correcting me from the stage. It's Ibiza. We had like a whole lesson. I was like, I'll never get this right. But yeah, Ibiza. We I, met a friend. Um, Kind of like a non-Jewish friend anti-Semitically set us up. Is he Jewish? My husband? Yeah. Yeah, I met the one British Jew that's ever Well, lived. I was going to say, is there a good amount of... No? I think like 300,000. Oh, that's not in, nothing. An entire country. Well, how big is England? 300,000. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, I don't know if you know, it's like little Israel, but um, it's not. No. It's really, really not. There are so few Jews. Are they mostly Catholic? Uh, Muslim and Catholic. Oh, okay. I've yeah. never been out of the country. I, I can't tell if you're joking. I'm not. I I haven't been invited. No one's. You don't asked. need an invitation. Well, you just go. Yeah, but you need a reason to go. Plan some shows. Uh, I'm not. I, I I don't have any interest in performing internationally. And this is why they hate us. No, that is I, the most American ass bullshit. That's not what I meant. Don't you want to expand the brand? No, but Joe I, I want an international I, comedy guy. I need to travel Legend? all over the United States first. Don't then... you want to have sex with like a crazy French woman? Yes, <laughs> I. No, but I. I want to do America first. I want to tour all over America first and see how that takes. And then it's like, oh, yeah, we can go elsewhere. And I know there's a lot of English speakers all over the world. Oh, so. my God. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Yeah, I knew that. Obviously. That's, they come. They pack out shows everywhere you well, go. Well, yeah, because people move from here. They're a like, lot of oh, expats. I want to live in Greece. And Some of the, my most favorite shows I've done were in Barcelona. They have a huge expat community and a lot of English-speaking people. And they love comedy. What is expats? Uh, people Expatriates? who expatriates. Yeah. Is that like Tom Brady and Julian Edelman? Let's just say yes to keep this easy yeah, because sure. it's not what it is. But um, <laughs> look, I <laughs> I did not realize you were like a Midwest mom. That's a good joke. You're like I've never had a passport. No, but I've been to a lot of. Do you have a passport? Yeah. You, just don't, have, you don't have a passport. There's no stamp on it. Yeah, I do. It's it actually expires tomorrow. <laughs> Next next year, you know that if you I have got less, it in 2015, never used it. If you have less than six months validity on your passport, you can't use it. Oh no, I didn't know that. And they'll they won't let you fly. So that's the dumbest shit ever. Well, because they don't want you ending up being in a country for longer, and then your passport isn't valid, and you're not and like then you allowed. Can't and then come you're back. trapped. Yeah. yeah. Good system. Well, I'm just letting you know, so I don't get a phone call from you in jail in Paris. You're like, I was having sex with this girl, and then. I hate this podcast. All right. I'm trying to. Uh, all right. We're going to get into. Did you ask me a question? I, I forgot. 
No, I don't think so. I, um, I'm going to do another segment here, and then we're going to do a bracket later. Uh, okay. Are you familiar with the early aughts comedies? I thought you were going to say what early means? onset Alzheimer's. Yeah. Do you know what that means when I say early? The Or I'm not early. It's the- uh, Are you burping? Yeah. Or did you puke in your mouth a little? No. The Do you know what it, aughts is? No. Two th- the year 2000 to 2009. Did you just make that up? No. I, it's like a saying. Why is it aughts? I don't know. It's stupid. I, that's like instead of ones. Is it like Tom Brady? No. Is it's that what like, it is? Uh, An expatriate. So you know the comedies like 40-Year-Old uh, Virgin, Old School, like you've heard of those movies? Yes, I know I know them. All right. So there's a bracket of that. I'll explain it to you. In, but in you didn't bit. explain to me what odds means. What is it short for? I think ones. Yeah, it's like the 2000s. Instead of saying the 2000s, you say. All right, so we're going to get into a Joe code for this now week. We're in the, well, now we're not in the teens anymore. Now we're in the 20s. Yeah, now we're in the 20s. Well, now you can date them. Yep. <laughs> That's true. All right, so uh, Joe code for this week is uh, keep your cool. Uh-oh. Uh, I've been getting heated lately, um, trying to tone it down. Uh, I've had different incidents. Um. Uh, at work and stuff that have got me uh, to kind of blow my gaskets a little bit. Um, but I've been keeping it cool last night after work. I just walked home and I said, I'm going to bed. I'm not blowing up at people. I've got a podcast to do. Um, but you wanted to blow some people. Yeah, there's a few people that pissed me off. What happened? I'm not talking about it. But you want to talk about it. Don't be one of those guys who's 60 and filled with rage because they never talked about it. No, I always talk about that. I'll talk about it. Not on this. This is, this is okay. a comedy podcast. So this isn't therapy. Yes, daddy. All right. So you just wanted to tell people that there was a problem, but not tell them what the problem is. Is that right? Yeah. On the comedy podcast. What I, yeah, because it's Joe Code. So I see steam coming out of your ears. The code, what is this? Uh, Freaking Tom and Jerry. <laughs> There's uh. So I'm just telling people, it's better to keep your cool instead of blowing up at somebody, yelling, screaming, saying something you didn't really want to say, and you kind of you go overboard, and then you say things that maybe can't be taken back. So you just want to keep your cool. All right. So that's what that is. Um, what year did you graduate high school? How dare you? Well, okay. Next question. Thank you. Um, I thought we were fucking friends. Come on here, and I come on the Joe Rogan podcast, and he asks me what year. Uh, all right, here's a. Uh, I mean, it's just an honest question. It's simple. Why do you have to ask a question like, "What year did you graduate high school?" I'll answer it for me. Two thousand two. I graduated. Mazel tov. Thank you. <laughs> Matzo ball soup. I, uh... <laughs> you dumb shit. Uh, here, I have, here's a good question. You're going to like this question. Yeah. Favorite city to perform comedy in? London, isn't it, mate? Really? No, I think Denver. Oh, Her, yeah? Denver is really fun. Comedy Works was so great. Oh, I haven't nice. been there in a minute, but I, I still feel like to this day it was some of the best crowds. Great. Yeah, I've heard that about that place. That's awesome. New York can be a little mix and match where yeah. like, you think you're going to have the best shows ever and you can have the best shows ever, but suddenly the room will get real woke and you're like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I thought we were having fun. Right. I thought we were telling jokes. Yeah, that's probably... Uh, like, that's how I feel about LA, too. That's like how LA is, yeah. It's like everything's fine, and then suddenly, like the room comes to a screeching halt, and you're like, "It was just an abortion joke." Like, let's <laughs> everyone chill the fuck out. Yeah, I um, I like performing everywhere. I just like performing. That's that's my. It was answer. a trick question. Yeah, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> this is great now. Cool. So this is great. Is uh, blueberry and strawberry pancakes. Ooh. Yeah. 
I've only had usually I've only had blueberry pancakes. Uh, but they're like, you want strawberries too? Do you want them on top? Do you want them cooked into the pancakes? Yeah, cook them in. Can you do that? Uh, th yes. Thank you, Mel's Diner. I love you guys over there. Are you a protein pancake guy? So good. Um, yeah, if that's an option, I would do it. But over Creatine at Mel's, I don't pancakes. think they have that. But I will say this. The strawberries cooked into the pancakes, a little weird looking. The blueberries, yeah, but the strawberries kind of like, eh, this kind of looks a little weird. I don't. I think you want the strawberries on top yeah. and the blueberries cooked in. That's what I'm going to do next time. Nice call there. Thank Leah. you. Good. Yeah. I, have I had a fruit pancake before? Yeah. Absolutely. I want the blueberries in there, mm -hmm. strawberries on top. That's correct. Yeah, that's what Strawberry, They're their own thing. You can't, you know what I mean? Like, what do you, I feel like it's disrespectful to the strawberry to bake it in. Like, they're a little special. I think everyone knows that. Even the, the fruits know. The fruits know the hierarchy. Yeah. The the strawberry literally has a crown. Yeah, it's like Think a about diamond it. It's a shape. royal. Yeah, it's you got don't that green bake that flag. in. You don't bake, you know, you yeah, put it on the top. It sits balls. ahead. It's yeah. on its throne. You don't bake it in. It's not a peasant. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Like blueberries what? are literally like minions. I like, might be the no. first person that's ever even done that. Never even heard of that. I don't, I actually can't believe you did like, that. Like there's strawberries in things like cake, but they just are... They and, stay the, the way they is, are. Yeah. I feel like you might have pissed strawberries off so much with that that the next time you go to a restaurant, you're on the strawberry blacklist. They're like, do not let this guy have any strawberries. They're like, I'm so sorry, sir. Um, you've disrespected Yeah, but why did they give me so. the option? Like, we can put them in. Well, well, because they were trying to please you because the customer's yeah, never wrong. But in this me. time, this, co this customer's wrong. All right. Do you want to do this bracket? The aughts? Yeah. Uh, my favorite, actually. I love the aughts. Do you know what the aughts are? Just want to make sure you knew before we yeah, moved ahead. Uh, it refers to the decade. Do you know what's so crazy? Of the year 2000 to the year 2009. If you look what's at crazy. If you look at those ATC mugs, you could technically say that's aughts. Oh, yeah. That's how it's... That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Thank you. I'm nothing if not a linguist. All right, so... Do you regret having me on the podcast? No, this is going well. Hmm. All right, so this is from Ross. We have the... Uh, I just... A question for you. If yeah. you have, like, the worst first date and she never calls you again afterward, are you like, that was going well? Uh, No, I always know how it's going. On, uh, dates. Okay, keep going. You can read people's body language on dates it's pretty easy to tell how it's going just ask your question what ask your question it's not a question <sighs> so we're gonna do this bracket here which mm -hmm. is the early aughts comedies and actually leah you have to uh we still have a tiebreaker that needs to be decided aaron oh, yep. I, can't, I can't wait to yep. break the tie yes please so the way this works is it's in like uh, tournament format like with different brackets mm -hmm. uh, and you have to pick winners at advance and in, these are all best of seven series great you understand that yeah I know how to bracket works Joe and some people don't that's not true yeah it is true I've had guests that don't so <gasps> and it's a best of seven series so four games okay advances. I'll tell you who wins let's go <clears throat> All right, Aaron. Uh, so, give us that tiebreaker matchup, Bar Borat. Yeah, the tiebreaker is number seven, Borat, versus number ten, The Hangover. So me and Aaron tied on this. I, I went with Hangover. I'm a Borat guy. Aaron went with Borat. Have you seen these movies? My wife. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. That's my vote. Because Borat's originality. Okay. I think puts it over the edge. It's danger and it's originality. I think Sasha right. Baron Cohen is a genius. Yep. Yeah, and, I mean that was yeah. And it was so impressive. novel at the time, really innovative. The Hangover is an incredible comedy and it's undeniable. I'm only putting Borat over the edge for its innovation. Okay. So you say they win the series four to uh, look, I'm a real girl's girl. You know, I'm going Borat. <laughs> <laughs> S 
So, yeah, Borat wins, but for the... What's the series, yeah. Oh, I have to title the series? No, you have to give how many wins versus yeah. how many wins. Because, like, in a best of seven series, you need to win four to advance. Oh, I see. So how many times do I think Borat won? Yeah, four, four clinches it. Do you think... Uh, Hangover wins any games. Yeah. So four to what? Like two, four to three. I think four to three. I think yeah, it's real it's close. Tight. Okay, I think it's four yeah. to three. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I thought we were doing the full bracket. We've we we've started it already. Oh, that was an old bracket. We were stuck. Got we it. Were, you we got stuck in Yakimak. We yeah. were split, Joe and I. Okay. Oh my All god, right. that's so sad. You guys were on opposite side of the fence. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, if this was the border, you guys would have been on the same side. Yeah. America. So now we... Um, Do I sound like a Republican nut? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just made like 8,000 border jokes. I'm just upset my husband cannot get into this country, apparently. Yeah, it's very it's, silly. It is. Very silly. It's crazy. I'll tell you more about it after because I've learned so much about it, but it also costs like $13,000. Oh, yeah. And you actually, for a capitalist country, you would think that they would allow you to pay extra money to expedite the... <clears throat> the uh, petition you yeah. petition to have the person come but you can't you just wait in a line and the line is amorphous and you have no idea where it starts where it ends where you are in the line if your application will even be seen and it can take as long as it takes that's yeah. unbelievable it's so crazy anyway go on yeah it's no wonder uh, thousands of people uh, try to skip it yeah. literally because and it well, sucks. well the other thing is and this is a weird tidbit if you get the green card in less than two years and you've been married and you haven't been married for two years yet, they will make you reapply because they don't believe the marriage is valid. Oh, yeah. That- so they just take more money, it, which is crazy. But if you've been married for over two years, by the time you get the green card, then you get it for 10 years. Mm. So, I mean, we're definitely on track for that. I'll tell you that much. Jeez. It's crazy. Yeah, that is. Man. Please let my husband into this country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, brackets. Aaron. Then do we we tied on the? Uh, no, you uh, you came around on me, myself, and Irene. Yeah. No. We. Yeah. I know. Sa- but Saving Silverman beat them. Oh. So Saving know? Silverman's in the for? semis. Okay. But I didn't we tie on role models and dodgeball? I still haven't seen dodgeball, so I don't even have an opinion here. I wow. Can't, I can't. I love role models. I have not seen Dodgeball. So I went with, I've seen both of these movies. Have you? I've only seen Dodgeball. Ooh, wow, that could right. put us over the edge. And it's just such an exquisite film. Yeah, I agree. Now, they, Do you feel like they make comedies like they used to? No, they don't. No, they do not. I don't feel like I have gone to the theater and nonstop laughed in so long. Yeah, that era of movies is gone. What do you think changed? I forget. I think Vince Vaughn was talking about it. I think I saw something like on Instagram, but I didn't watch <laughs> it. But they were him and I. For, I don't know who else was talking about it. I think that there is a level of silliness that has just disappeared. Yeah, yeah like you can't get away with like, like especially in like Four Year Old Virgin. Yeah, some of those movies, like even if you rewatch The Office, like a lot of that stuff was. Now you can't really get away with. Well, there's some borderline racist, homophobic, yeah. misogynistic content that I probably think would not be quote unquote allowed now. Right. But also, I do think that there was like a level of silliness that's just not present anymore. Yeah, for sure. All right. Let's keep it moving. Well, did you see do you know the movie Role Models? Do you remember that with Sean William Scott? And oh, my Paul God. Rudd? I haven't heard the name Sean William Scott in forever. What yeah. happened to him? I mean, he had his run. Why don't you get off his back? He's like one of those guys that just had a drug overdose or something, you know? I don't know. No, I don't think he did. He's around somewhere. <laughs> I think he got he got heavy and then he got <gasps> back in shape and Oh Sean Williams. I just remember him being oh, like he got the heavy? hot guy. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. He yeah, was the back. hot guy. He's Stifler. Back. Oh my god, Stifler. Yeah. Sorry, I peaked there. All um, right. So yeah, I mean so I said dodgeball and it, it to me it's four to three. It's tight. I really did like role models, but Dodgeball just has too much power. 
look, I haven't seen role model, so I'm going to go dodgeball. Yeah. And that's that it feels like an unfair advantage. No, but yeah. so I it's mean, a, it's a home field advantage. To on. But I think we got to go. We got to go with dodgeball. By how many? Um, I've heard here. I'll, I'll be I'll be fair. Yeah, I'll be a fair and just ruler. I have heard great things about role models. So I'm going to go four three again. OK, great. All right, so we've got a semifinal matchup there. <laughs> um, now to the other side. Uh, I, I honestly don't know where we're at, Joe. Why? Well, just because uh, – did we do all this already? Or? Oh, no. So on this side this now, is, yeah, we have – all right, so it's going to be – my hair has seen better days, and I'm just going to have to live with it, and I want to apologize to you. Go yeah, on. It's fine. You're, you're wearing headphones. All right, so it's going to be two against seven. Oh, my God. You're such a dude. Okay. <laughs> Anchorman. Yeah. yeah. Number two, Anchorman, Legend of Ron Burgundy, versus number seven, Borat. Mm. Now we're cooking with gas. Anchorman versus Borat. Borat is not as easy. Well, I mean, you guys kind of swayed me on the whole innovation of Borat, and I pitched it hard. But there's Will something Ferrell? about someone getting it done on their own. Yeah, because it's like Anchorman. Yeah, Will Ferrell's great. He's but so are the other guys. They're all bouncing off each other. Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, but Will Ferrell is in a different class than everyone. Will Ferrell is comedy. Yeah, like he, I. My first job in L.A. was when I was still living in New York, and I had the honor and pleasure <clears throat> of working on the Fight for Your Right revisited music video with the Beastie Boys. Oh, Beastie Boys, And this yeah. was, like, over 10 years ago. I was a production assistant. I was working at um, a production company, and I was just, like, a PA. Crazy. Was and Mike D still alive? Yes, everyone was still oh, alive. Okay. It was crazy. Wait. That's the one that passed away. No, no Adam right? passed away. MCA passed away. Damn it. Sorry, Mike D. Um, okay, so, <laughs> and wait, every living comedy legend was there. Like, everyone was there. Nice. And everyone. Uh, it was insane. And, like, Jack Black, John C. Riley, uh, Jason Schwartzman, like, just, like, a whole bunch. Susan Sarandon. Like, it was just, like, this crazy Stanley Tucci. I mean, it was just, like, a random. A Tucci crazy crazy cast of characters nice will ferrell and so i thought because there were so many celebrities you know what i mean i thought that like you just come to la and you just see celebrities all the time right was so and like every celebrity ever yeah like when you go back and you look at the imdb it was every celebrity ever i'm listing just random ones but like there's just so many anyway so i get to set and john c Riley and will ferrell walk toward each other and just silently go into what I could only explain as the greatest secret handshake of all time. <laughs> they like grabbed each other's ankles. There was like spinning, high fiving, and then yeah. walked away from each other. And I was like, <gasps> that was the coolest thing I know. I was like, Oh my God. All right. Very cool. So for me, Will Ferrell is just like, there's like a little place in my heart. He's so Funny. So you want to go Anchorman? I I don't want to, I don't want to. By the way, I have the cast list for that. Go tell me, because uh, I can't remember. Twenty Eleven, Fight for Your Right Revisited. Yeah. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Danny McBride. Yeah. Seth Rogen. Yeah. Susan Sarandon, Stanley Tucci, Rashida Jones, Will Arnett, Adam Scott, <laughs> uh, Mike Mills, Rain Wilson, Arabella Field, Ted Danson. So crazy. Roman Coppola. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sossaman, mm -hmm. Steve Buscemi, mm -hmm. Amy Poehler, Mary Steenburgen, Alicia Silverstone, Laura Dern, okay. Arthur Scipio Africano, don't know who that is. That's a lot of people. Alfredo Ortiz, Milo Ventimiglia, right. Milo, Jody Hill, Sylvia Soldova, Jason Schwartzman, Losel Yauk, which I think is one of their kids, Chloe Sevigny, Kirsten Dunst, Maya Rudolph, Clint Calori, David Cross, Orlando Bloom. Fucking legless in the house. Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, Jack Black. And then the Beastie Boys. Yeah. So, like I said, every living. Jeez. It was crazy. 
and and at that time all these people were even more famous do you know what i mean yeah um yeah i was just a pa on it but it was so cool aaron what which way are you leaning here uh I'm a Borat guy. I think Borat's one of the funniest movies that's ever been made. I I do I do think Borat is is visionary. Will yeah. Ferrell's on this list still. He's still in a bracket for Step Brothers. It, yeah, it's hard. It's hard because I just adore Will Ferrell, and he is the anchor of Anchorman. Like he really truly is undeniably funny in every way, and he's so kind and lovely. <sighs> I'm going Borat. I think we're going to go Borat. We're going to go Borat. And I'm going to say four to two. Wow. I yeah, I mean. Four, I'm going four, three. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I mean, just. I'm going four, three. I'm going four, three. I'm doing it. All right. But Borat wins. Borat's winning. It's just one of the laughed out, laugh out loud funniest movies ever. Now they will face the winner of a great matchup right here. So is Step Brothers out? No, so it's three oh. against six. Step Brothers okay. is very funny. Still in, okay. It's so good. All right, it's three against six. Who the fuck is six? Did we just become best friends? Yeah. Are you sure it's six or five? No, it's four-year-old virgin. Oh, where is that? I don't even see that on my it's, list. Uh, yeah, Steve Carell's so funny, too. Oh, there it is. Weird. It's yeah, it's kind of like... Google cut it off. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So number three, Step Brothers versus number six, four-year-old virgin. Oof. This is a tough matchup. Yeah. I'm going to go Step Brothers. Redemption for Will Ferrell. I think Redemption for Will Ferrell, and also it's just so... Maybe because I've seen it again more recently, but it's just the most quotable movie. See, I I think that about 40-year-old Virgin. Can you do some quotes for me? Yeah. Convince me. Uh, there's something wrong with their underpants. Yeah, they're not in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is a hoe. Yeah, oh show. Sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Both of these movies are great. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I'm going Step Brothers. You said all that that she was hurting for a squirting. Yeah, I yeah I said that. <laughs> she was hurting. I'm going Step Brothers. Joe, are you picking 40-year-old virgin because you are a 40-year-old virgin? I mean, I wish I was, honestly. <laughs> then I, that would be a great... You're giving incel energy be, right that now. That would be great for my comedy. If you were a 40-year-old virgin? Yeah. Could be. Could also not be. You'd have you definitely have a different POV than everyone else in LA. Yeah. In New York. And around the country. Yeah. Except for in... Utah with the Mormons. <laughs> All right. I'm going 40 year old virgin. Uh, oh, it, don't make me be the decider. It's tight. Oh. It's four to three, but. How tight is it? <laughs> tight to quite tight. All right. What are we doing? Fuck. I'm going to go. Aaron has to decide. Let's go, Aaron. I've seen 40 year old virgin more. But I just saw Step Brothers, and I really did enjoy myself. Yeah, it's good. <sighs> Pilates I, changed my life. I got oh, it. the May love. I'm going Step Brothers. Wow. Fresh on his mind. He yeah. just saw it. That's fair enough. Yeah. Step Brothers advances. All right. All right, so we're down to the last four, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, so we have... Number one, Saving Silverman versus number five, Dodgeball. Have you seen Saving first. Silverman? No. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I'm ha I I have Saving Silverman going uh, all the way here. I love that you are a friend to the Jews. Yeah, I love. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. An ally. Um, yeah, uh, Darren Silverman, great guy. Um, Sarah Silverman. Yeah, well, this one, this movie's about Darren. Oh. 
Do you know this movie? Mm-mm. Steve Zahn, Jack Black. Mm-mm. Came out in 2001. I mean, I'm going Saving Silverman just for the title. Uh, you know what it is. I mean, I do love Dodgeball. They get a few games, but yeah, I just got to go Saving Silverman 4-2. to two. I'm going off Saving Silverman having nothing to do with ever seeing the film and just purely having to do with supporting the Jewish people. All right, that works. Aaron? Uh, well, I've only seen Saving Silverman of this duo, so... Oh, right. So we're Aaron and I kind of are not great for this because I've only seen Dodgeball. No, Saving Silverman is going to the championship. They deserve it. They've okay. earned it, quite <laughs> frankly. We've made a mockery of this bracket, but sure, Saving Silverman. Four to one. And who will they face? <laughs> they face uh, number three, Step Brothers, versus number seven, Borat. Will Ferrell and Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, now there's a matchup for you. What was it again? Uh, Borat versus Step Brothers. That's tough. I don't like being put in this position. Yeah, I mean. This is a Sophie's Choice, and I'm not here for it. Do you know what actually happens at the end of Sophie's Choice? Never mind. I don't want to ruin this for anyone. The movie ends. <laughs> Forgot. The credits roll. <sighs> um, well, who's anyone have any uh, initial thoughts? Aaron? I, I just, mean, yeah, I'm. I'm still... The experience of seeing Bore out in the theaters. It's tops. unlike anything you've seen before. Yeah. It's almost like it was almost like a Blair Witch. It was just yeah. ahead of its time, a different format. Yeah. Something that had not been done before. Step Brothers is laugh out loud funny. Yeah. And is different in its own way. God. And unique. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm gonna abstain. <laughs> no, you have it's to not I, choose. I can't I <laughs> I don't want to. This is non consensual. (laughs) I don't. I I can't make a choice. I want them both. I'm I'm, I'm 4 4, baby. We got to go to a tiebreaker. It's going to be 3 3. (laughs) Um. Aaron, how dare you? (laughs) How dare you? I'm kind of. uh, (sighs) Yeah, this is tight, but uh, I think I'm leaning. Step Brothers. Step Brothers is so funny. They're both so funny. You know what? I got to be real. We should just be watching these movies back to back. Or even better, simultaneously. (laughs) Just two different screens. Duke it out. It feels unfair. I I really don't want to do this, and I don't think that I should have to, quite frankly. No, we must do it. The people want this. I don't think they care. (laughs) They care, otherwise they wouldn't write this in. You think I came up with this? Who wrote this in? You. Ross. Ross from where? Can you know? Dress uh, for less? Ross from Tuggles Timber. See that? You ever heard of that? It's on my book. <laughs> Tuggles Timber. It's in India Indianapolis. That's in Indiana. Are your by the are way. your listeners mostly white guys? And they're like millennials? Probably, yeah. Just curious. Probably. I would think, yeah. yeah. But all you over. got a problem with that? No, I, that's my favorite demographic. No, but even probably ge- even Gen Zs, like I know there's college. Uh, we got we got an Irish guy living in the middle of the Mediterranean. Yeah, he lives in Malta. Island. Yeah. So, well, I have questions for him. Like, why is he living there. in Malta? Why not? Ireland's so cool. I don't know. I think it's he colder. works remote. <laughs> so he works in crypto. Got it. I don't know. All right, we got to pick one here. Um, I Step Brothers. Oh, <laughs> that, that, I'm sorry. I feel like a traitor. Yeah, I'm going to say Step Brothers too. I just I'm, I'm a traitor. I'm a traitor, but Step Brothers is so good. So it goes. Four to three, Aaron. I I go Borat four to three, but. Uh, I'm, I'm voted so. Thank All you, right. thank you for doing that because yeah. one of us had to. I didn't have the balls. Yeah. So All right. I literally so the did. championship matchup is now number one, Saving Silverman versus number three, Step Brothers. Step Brothers. So you're saying Step Brothers immediately? Yeah, because I've never seen Saving Silverman, so that was easy for That's me. That's fair enough. I turned my back on my people and I went straight for Step Brothers. 
I'm going to put this in Aaron's lap because I'm oh, going Christ. Saving Silverman. Oh, damn it. That movie just sticks with me. I'll rewatch it. You're clutching your pearls right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a that movie has such a just a charm to it. Does, it, it does. It has a fun love story. Um the music of Neil Diamond. Yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about Neil. Yeah. Every time we talk about this. You know I Neil did, I Diamond. I haven't seen it, so it's easy for me to discount it. I of course I know Neil Diamond. Um but yeah, he's like a big part. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they all love Neil, and they have a tribute band. Was forgetting Sarah Marshall ever part of this? Yeah, they yeah. lost. Wow, they lost to me, myself, and Irene. I never saw me, myself, and Irene, but forgetting Sarah Marshall, I haven't laughed out loud that long in a long time. It is good. Wedding Crashers also lost earlier in the thing. That makes sense. Knocked up, lost, super mm. bad, lost. Wow, super tough, bad was tough very choices funny. Have to be made. And uh anger management. I never saw it. All right, I'm going. Yeah, it's tough, man. Oh, damn it. I know Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Yeah, I, I I think the power of those two men is too much to overcome. I I do love Saving Silverman. Steve Zahn is great. That the the raccoon attack is one of the funnier things uh, you see I, in movies. I want to give them the first place trophy. Jack Black does the chicken dance in it. I want to meet the guys on the podium. Love. Uh, Jason Biggs is great in it as well. Arlie, Amanda Peet. Arlie Ermey. Amanda wow, Pete. Amanda Peet. What a gorgeous queen she is. Yeah. yeah. Where's she been? I don't know, but yeah. She's working. She's working. Um, Eating that big Montana. Yeah, it's from I, st I still gotta go Step Brothers though, because I mean, outside of the two guys, you've got Adam Scott's in that sucker. Yeah, he's um, good. Uh, Richard Jenkins as the dad is really funny. Mary Steenburgen. Yeah, from your they music are. Video. Yeah, they are good. Um, yeah, I gotta go Step Brothers four to three. We're going Step Brothers. All right, yeah. fine. See if I care. Sorry, Joe. I do. Hey. By the Finishing way. second in the bracket's still pretty impressive. Yeah, it is pretty impressive. He's beat so a lot upset. Of, beat a lot of heavy hitters. Look, if you had told me this was going to happen, I could have done my homework ahead of time. No, it's all oh, right. Oh, I've had weeks to do it, and I still didn't. No, I'm not, I, I don't give homework. <laughs> like, I, I've done podcasts before where they're like, yeah, hey, can you do this or whatever? Yeah, thanks for the assignment. Well, I like to come prepared. What are you, my freaking uh, teacher? No, I mean other podcasts, but. No, if you did, if you saw it, you saw it. But all right, Leah, we gotta go. This was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you had a good time. It was a definitely interesting time. No, it wasn't interesting. It was a great time. We had a blast. <sighs> Joe, um, you can't just tell a woman how she feels. You barely not in L.A. in twenty twenty four. Your iced coffee. Correct. I because I've been talking. Uh, oh. I trying to be a present guest. Is How dare good, I? Though? Yeah, I'm gonna crush it on the way home. Thanks for getting me a nice coffee. I love you, yeah. Joe. Yeah, Joe, love we've been you, friends Leah. for a long time. I know. I I don't even remember when we met, but it was a while ago. And uh, must be eight years ago. Probably seven years something ago, something like that. But Leah, great to have you on. Thank you for being here. It's my honor, my joy, my pleasure. Uh, guys, follow her on Instagram. She's I'm in jail. So if you'll you can find, find my her, <laughs> just find it, her, follow it, her. Thank you. That's very on sweet. Instagram. Leah Lamar. That's it. With and, two R's. Uh, and yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. You did. I answered the question for you. <laughs> um, Never ask a lady how she feels after a date with Joe because he'll just answer for her. No, you did. You had a great job. Yeah, they did, though. Um. <laughs> All right, subscribe to the YouTube channel, people. We got to get that freaking number up. We got to get Joe laid. Okay. His hysteria is coming through. I'm in not this about. Podcast. It's not about getting laid. Um. All right, so everyone, <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um. So thanks, Leah. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you all out there. Uh. Thanks a lot, guys. This is Joe Code, and I'm Joe Marisi. Thanks for having me. Love you.